What is a hackathon? We explore here on The Patriot Founder. What is up and welcome to The Patriot Founder. Feeling good today. Sport my FDNY shirt. Let's dive straight in. What is a hackathon? Hackathons are innovation competitions where people come together to solve challenges. They typically take place over the course of a weekend, but they can run either shorter or longer, and they can be any time of the week. The name hackathon comes from two root words. The first is hack. So hacking is a term used in the software community to mean solving challenges in novel and unique and clever ways. The second root word is marathon, which we all know as the long distance running race that harkens back to the good old days of ancient Greece. Hackathons can take many forms, so there isn't one set formula, but there are a few things that most do have in common. For instance, there's typically a topic area for that hackathon. The organizers of the hackathon will also typically give you a set of tools that you can use. Often you're not obligated in any sense to use them. Sometimes they have as a criteria that you should use those tools. In terms of agenda and itinerary, the run of play often goes something like this. So the participants will first arrive at the time that they're told to. People start mingling and networking and chatting with each other on things that they're interested about and their personal skill sets. Because one of the cool things about these kinds of events is that people come from all over the place with very different skills, and that's a good thing. So you might have somebody who's a designer, you might have somebody who is a back-end engineer, you might have somebody who's a front-end engineer, you might have somebody that's really good at marketing, or just somebody who is a hustler, an entrepreneur that's willing to work really hard, and you wanna have a good complement of skills represented on your team so that you can effectively build out whatever product you're interested in building. So if everybody has the exact same skill set, well, it's likely that that means that you guys have some big holes and that's going to create some challenges as you work to build a product. It's just like forming a little mini team in a weekend. Second, those with ideas for solutions to the challenge will come up and pitch their idea to their fellow hackers. So they'll come up there and say, okay, here's my idea of the product that I want to build. And then they'll say, here are this, you know, here's my background. Here are the skills that I need to be able to form the most effective team. So I'm looking for, you know, X, Y, Z skills. And, uh, and they're trying to pitch the rest of the participants so that they can recruit people to their cause. Third, everybody breaks into teams. So after the pitches happen, people start figuring out who they wanna work with and eventually a bunch of different teams are created and everybody then, fourth, goes forth See what I did there. And they start building, they start hacking and working on their things and uh, just really getting down to it. Fifth, often experts will come through as mentors. Sixth, the teams demo what they've built in front of their peers as well as a panel of judges. Seventh, winners are selected and awards are distributed. Hooray, winning. All the while, copious amounts of caffeine are consumed because let's face it, half the team stay up straight through the night and don't sleep at all and can't be healthy, but it's a hackathon, so it's okay. A common misconception is that hackathons are exclusively software events. Not so. Hackathons can be hardware events, so building physical products, or they can be events where you developed develop processes and workflows. So, and there, there are also a bunch of these kinds of events where they're absolutely agnostic as to what the heck you build. So as long as you're doing something that's gonna solve the end problem, Godspeed, you know, just go ahead and do it. So it doesn't necessarily uh, have to be software. Let's look at a specific example of a hackathon. 
The photos you're looking at were taken by me at a hackathon I ran back in late 2016 in Brooklyn, New York with my colleagues from MD5, the Department of Defense's Technology Accelerator. In this particular hackathon, we were interested in trying to find new ways to save people impacted by disasters all over the world and providing the most effective and impactful relief that we could as efficiently as possible. With the topic of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief in dense urban environments selected as our topic, we we worked with our friends at organizations like the FDNY, Columbia University, NYU, the Army Strategic Studies Group, and New Lab to craft a set of real world challenges to solve. We gave our hackers a whole bunch of tools to play with, from APIs to an absolute ton of hardware. <laughs> We had some absolutely amazing mentors come through, both from the FDNY as well as from NYU and Columbia and from the local venture capital ecosystem. And then the awards were distributed. In our case, the top three teams were given follow-on funding to build out their ideas. Every now and again, projects created at a hackathon will bloom into full-blown startups and be taken on as full-time jobs by the people that created this project. In fact, at the hackathon I just described, we had a whole bunch of projects emerge that became full-time startups for the founders. That said, that's not the norm. What the norm is, is that hackathons are about learning. They're about education. They're about community and meeting new people hanging out and seeing what others are up to and just creatively being a part of the community. They're about fun. So regardless of what your end goal is from a hackathon, it's definitely worth participating in, especially if you're new to the tech ecosystem. It's a great way to get out there and meet other people who share your interest in tech. And it's a great way, especially as a novice, to go out there and learn the scope of possibilities that exists with different tools and to start making new friends. So I encourage you, go out, do it, have fun, hack away. All right, guys, that is it from me. Please be sure to like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. That helps us in the algorithm and it also helps us reach more military vets and other patriotic Americans who care about tech and entrepreneurship and want to learn more. And what I'd really like is for you to share your experiences at hackathons in the comments section so I can see them because I've got a few <laughs> stories and experiences and I want to know what yours are. So please go ahead and do that. Thanks so much, guys. For the Patriot Founder, I'm Will Gregory.